So boom, what is up you guys? This is Mikko Fresh on the Flea. If you guys are loving the videos, do hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you're not already. Let's just get in, early morning. The Hollywood Park, horse bobblehead, amazing. This place looks like in disarray. I have no idea what happened. It looks like it's been picked out already, but it's so early, no way. Look at this, I thought this was a polo cap for a second. Oh my god. So honestly you guys, this is a solid La Tigre piece here. $2.99? Look at the knit. Little newer Tommy. Still nice though. These are actually very clean for being at a thrift. Look at this. Interesting. UFC swag. Still here. Still fifteen dollars. Still here and still playing. The Blockbuster T, that is dope. I'm definitely gonna pick this one up. Hottest new release is $12.99. Ask me how. You better. That 2003 Big Fat Greek Wedding tea. You guys, I didn't find anything too big, but I did find those like blockbuster tees. I mean, those are nice, 99 cents. Why not? I am looking at shoes right now. Dude, so much. You're young again, bird. Sideshow Bob over here. I've never seen this one. It's actually like toy of a bear head. Do they have an electronic fish here? Loving the monkey and the guest stripes are here. So you guys, I didn't find too much in here. I went through everything pretty much, but I did come up on one thing that is very interesting. is a 1969 All-Star Game MLB sponsored by Chrysler uh, Porcelain Coasters. I see they go for a good amount of money online, and look at that, we got eight here. Look at that, they get the collection here. Batman with Michael Keaton. Yeah, Batman Returns. Penguin. Oh. Okay, this is one I'm probably gonna have to pick up. Definitely. Not the mama. So sad. 
<laughs> no, I know. On to the next thrift. Let's go. Boom. Okay, so we are here uh, at the thrift. About to get in right now. This is actually a pretty nice day. It's not that hot. I always check the glasses before because they make they make you line up for that. I don't see too much though. I do see a fake Rolex right there. Hmm. Look at here. Ooh. I don't know, man. I could save these, man. How much they want for them? Two ninety-five. What do you think? What do you guys think? Definite cop. <laughs> yes. That's what I'm talking about. Love coming up on some Xanarobi, man. These things go for a pretty penny. It's a prince crazy though. So you guys, I am completely pumped about this. This is amazing. So if you guys know about this fight, this is the sound and the fury. And if you guys know number two, infamous bite her around the world. And I definitely remember this fight because I was seven years old and I was over at my uncle's house. That is amazing and it's aged so beautifully. Look at the tag on this thing. Gosh, that is amazing. And then this is a Machiavelli uh, license tee, and it's got like the jewels in it and stuff like that. That is also beautiful. I love the age. Some of that Tupac flair. Oh my gosh, you guys. I've been looking for this exact hat, not the colorway, but that is beautiful. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, ever since I've seen this exact one with the M, with the Mickey in it. Ugh, oh, cop. Look at that lady section coming through. I mean cool, but fake. And they want 10 bucks on it, I don't know about that. But you wanna know it's not fake? The come ups, man, the come ups. Look at this, size medium. Dollar ninety-five, nineteen ninety-eight, NWO. That is beautiful. Check out the kids' flame here. Keeps going, keeps going. Hmm. Hmm. Tommy Tuesday, man. Shout out. So yes, you guys. Oh my gosh. So yes, you guys, I'm taking off right now. Wow, leaving there with like a bag full is always good. Those Harachis were 2.95. 
the tees were pretty much dollar ninety five. The cheap prices, man. That come up of the day as of right now is the ninety seven Mike Tyson Holyfield fight tee. That is amazing, man. It's definitely in the stash. On to the next thrift. Let's go. So we are here pretty much live. So I'm getting in right now. Dude, there's donations everywhere. I literally just saw like some energy boosts. I thought they were ultra boosts, and I was like, but I know how it goes. Getting in. That boo boo bag though. The goat. You just never know, that's why I always look here. Senses. Gotta love 97, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Is it the come up or the come up, right? Hmm. So do you guys know where this comes from? I hope you guys do. If you do, put it in the comments. So crazy enough, I'm leaving there empty-handed, man. There was just nothing in there worth copying. It was kind of sad. So just look at all the stuff that they have here, man. I mean, they're still sorting so much out, and it almost boggles my mind every time just to think what actually is in there. Like, look at this crate right here. Look at all the crates of clothes. What are in there? Are there any guest tees? Are there any bootleg Chanel or Gucci tees in there? I have no idea, man. And that's that's the hard part about this whole thing. You just you look at it. You just want to go through everything. Let's go. So boom, let's get on the recap. So yes, you guys, we are back to this outdoor recap. Let's just get into it. For 99 cents, this is an amazing piece because for me, I mean, Blockbuster was such a homestead, you know, like I grew up with Blockbuster renting video games, movies, and it's a Blockbuster tee and it says, hottest new release is 12.99, ask me how, and that's a beautiful piece. I love the Blockbuster logo right there. But this one, I mean, I, see, I saw this, it said, it's all Greek to me. Uh, it was 99 cents size large again, same same tag, same year as this one. And I looked on the back, it is another Blockbuster. It's a buyer rent at Blockbuster February 11, 2003. It's my big fat Greek wedding. So I definitely had to pick this one up. It is super clean, another white tee, 14 years old, right? So that, I had to pick this one up. Classic show from my childhood right here. It is dinosaurs. I mean, as you can see, I mean, that's Baby Sinclair right there. This is Baby's Funniest Adventures. I love that in the back of this is because it says, in memory of Jim Henson, whose genius made the dinosaurs possible. I mean, for, for 1991, this is in amazing condition. And I mean, the funny thing, look at that. It's not even rewinded. Bringing back old memories. Now for $2.99, I did pick up eight ceramic coasters here from 1969. They are the all-star MLB game, sponsored by the Chrysler Corporation. And that is awesome. On the back, it does say Florence Ceramics Co. Um, right there. It's got stickers on each one. I mean, they're in amazing condition, and they are taped up, all ready to go. For $2.99, I mean, check the comps on there. A steal. I don't come up on shoes that much. Every once in a while, I come up with some Jordans. This was beautiful. Again, I, these are Nike 
parachis. I don't even know the colorway on these, but they are a little bit worn. And the thing about them is the entire print on here. I've never seen this colorway though. The print is literally sun damaged. And you can see it because they're here. You can see the difference in the color. I don't know if you can see it, but there's, there should be like a difference right there in color. I'm gonna re-dye these and just see what I can do with them because they are my size and they do, they're very comfortable. I got the all white. Amazing thing about this is these were $2.95. And that's the thing is I don't really come up on shoes and to find these for $2.95, I mean, whatever about the color, whatever, I can always re-dye. Just incredible. Here you go, in the hats, we got a vintage Disney Mickey Mouse embroidered cap right here. I've seen this one before and immediately when I saw it, I just, I wanted it. I almost bought it. I don't remember the Instagram post or the website I saw it on, but that is an amazing piece. I just love the design of this thing. Cap is in amazing condition. I can always fix this a little bit wrinkled here. But look at that and on the back it says mickey mouse and it is embroidered right there and then the that kind of faux leather strap back here i mean great condition dollar 95 is a definite steal this is a children's medium 98 nwot new world order it's got the trademark of the wcw that is a beautiful print i just love that it's got this neon green that goes all the way through with the gray print awesome so i don't know too much about these tupac tees but this one is this is a machiavelli made in egypt tea you got tupac right here these jewels like encrusted all over the place uh the print you can see it's a little bit old in there but um i took a chance on it. it's like it was 5.95 so i don't know if this is even vintage or what that's how it goes in the thrift world you take a chance on something it pays off last but not least in a definite cop of the day it is this 1997 evander holyfield versus mike tyson fight number two so this fight was posted as the sound of the fury and you can see on the back it does say the sound of the fury right there I mean, this fight right here was the infamous and iconic bite heard around the world fight. He bit Evander Holyfield's like ear off and that's just, that's insane. But to find this in such a great condition and for $1.95, this is such a steal. I already looked up comps, so I mean, it's upwards almost a bill and that is just insane. The print on the front is pretty much flawless. In the back, it's a little bit of faded right there. You can see how it cracked off, but the print is still behind it and that is just, incredible i want to thank you guys for watching it was a day that started out very slow it really did for me and you know i came up on a few things first i hit that tupac t and i pretty much grabbed it and then you saw me hit that uh mike tyson around holyfield t and i literally said like that's what i'm talking about but there were so many people in the area i don't want to say anything with all those people there and man it just paid off today it was just just amazing i love these kind of days where it's not so much bulk of stuff but it is the pieces that really count and they don't burn a hole through the pocket. They're like two bucks. That's why I do what I do. And also I'm gonna remind you guys, hit up my Depop at Fresh and Fleet and also hit up my Big Cartel, freshandfleet.bigcartel.com. Get fresh and I'm gonna say what I always say. Hit that sub and more videos are coming. This is Mick from Fresh and Fleet.